Hello everybody and welcome to Just Football as I'm bringing you breaking news from Kids Chiefs as they have decided on who they are going to go for as their head coach ahead of the 2024-2025 season. Now if you're new on Just Football, kindly click on the subscribe button as we upload similar content every week. Now let's get on with the video. Now this is coming in hot of the press from Raj Sports On as they're saying Kaiser Chiefs had an emergency meeting today in the afternoon to decide the future of Kevin Johnson as results have not been forthcoming at Amakos. Now they wanted to decide whether they should let him take charge of the team until the end of the season or they should terminate his contract immediately. But now a decision has been reached and they decided that Kevin Johnson can take charge of the team until the end of the season as they hope he will reach some stability as he has been with the team for a while now. So Kevin Johnson is going be in charge of the team until the end of the season now the big big update this hour is that Chiefs have identified their top target for the head coaching position that is going to be vacant at the end of the season so now they have identified uh Stellenbosch FC head coach Steve Parker as the right man for the club so they have identified him and they put him at the top of the list today in the meeting this was one of the, one of the two or one of the big big topics that they have been going up and down trying to identify who is the right target and now they have settled on Steve Parker so Steve Parker is currently on the top of the uh, top top of the head coach list at Amakosi as a potential candidate ahead of the 2024-2025 season. So what do I think? My initial thoughts are. Uh, Steve Parker has been one of the best coaches in the DSTV Premiership. Like I've had uh, conversations with a few people before about Steve Parker, why he has not been considered for the big jobs uh, in the DSTV Premiership. And now people have been saying uh, they don't think he's good enough because he's used to uh, using uh, the resources at Stellenbosch FC and with resources at KGC it can be a little bit overwhelming. But I think he can just be the right man to bring some stability at cases and I think he can also command some respect from the players. So he's also a developer of talents. He has developed a few players. Uh, for an example, uh, someone like Ashley Dupriz has been developed under the tenure of uh, Steve Parker at uh, Stellenbosch FC. He has coached at uh, the University of Pretoria. He won promotion to the to the Premier League with them before and he was also coached at Amazon and he has been also with Stellenbosch FC since uh, they were promoted to the DSTV Premiership and also remember he was the man who uh, won promotion with them he's also uh, led this team to the first trophy in the DST in, in the uh, in the league with uh, the uh, the black label knockout they are currently the champions under the tenure of Steve Parker so I think he's a winner he has a winning mentality the teams that he's coaching they know how to uh, come back in a game when even if uh, they are a few goals down we saw them do it against Orlando Pirates so he has a good record in the DSTV Premiership and this isn't they are challenging for the CAF Champions League he's uh, I think it's going to be his best season yet at Stellenbosch FC so I think he's, got, he's the right man if he's allowed uh, to bring his own players and also his own coaching staff they should give him the power that he deserves at cases and allow him to be in charge of the team so unless they're going to be uh, giving him too many instructions or too many uh, backroom staff uh, who are not his own people so he's going to need to have uh, a little bit of power at Casey. So bringing in Steve Parker, I think it is really the right decision. I've been waiting for someone like Steve Parker to get a chance at the top of uh, of uh, football in South African football. He has been one of the best coaches in the DSC Premiership. I think he is a, a little bit underrated, but I think right now it is his time to prove himself. So Casey are going to be opening talks with Steve Parker and his representatives in the coming few weeks and months. And I, I do think it's going to take a while because they are doing very, very well at Stellenbosch FC. And Stellenbosch FC will need to be compensated in the right way. So tell me what you think about this. Steve Parker potentially becoming Casey's head coach ahead of 2024-2025 season.